Salt. And Neela and Katie. Little cold this morning, wasn't it? I know. I looked out the bathroom window. I'm like, ooh, I think that's frost on the ground. What y'all think? Ooh, I'm a little crackly today. Okay. Now, Mila, you may or may not know. I know Katie knows, so I'm going to show Mila first. Do you know who that man is? Yes. Do you know who that man is? Who is that man? Um, I think Martin. That's exactly right. And kids are always excited because they get a day off of school to celebrate. So you just got back to school and now you're getting a day off. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And they got a day off last week. Or because of that wind. Because it was so rainy. There yes. was such a flash flood warning. So yes. I basically got two, three days and get around. I know. What is that all about? You can get used to that, can't you? Okay, so tomorrow we celebrate a holiday called Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Martin Luther King Jr., a preacher who believed people of every color and every race needed to be treated fairly with kindness and respect. Do you think that? Yeah. Everybody. Exactly. Dr. King was a wonderful speaker and many of his speeches are still remembered and quoted today. One of his most famous speeches was called, I have a dream. exactly, I have a dream. And in this speech, he said that he had a dream that all people, regardless of their race or religion or color, would live peacefully together and that we would be free of hatred. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream that all people would live among one another peacefully and free like one big happy family. When we follow Jesus, we get to join a family just like this one. In the Bible, we learn that God's family is made up of all different types of people. One passage in the Bible says, there is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there female or male, for all, you all are one in Christ Jesus. This means it doesn't matter whether you're a girl or a boy, whether you like trucks or dolls, whether you or not, whether or not you like a person that sits beside you or not. When we choose to follow Jesus, we are welcomed into his family, and when this happens, we are all called children of God through faith. God loves everybody. Okay, can we bow our heads and close our hands for a short prayer? Dear God, we thank you for men like Martin Luther King Jr. who believe in freedom for every person. Most of all, we thank you for Jesus who came to set us free from our sin and welcome us all into the family of God. In Jesus' name, all the children said, Amen. Amen.